Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Fox Simulator by Gluten Free Games. And we are here with the beautiful dazzling setting sun here in the autumn. Well, I don't think we're in the autumn forest anymore actually. I think we are actually kind of like in maybe the spring forest. But we are here looking for the three-tailed fox, which is actually Kilala's mission. And Kilala is looking so good right now, you guys. Kilala has a brand new coat. Oh, and we actually have some food over there. Okay, that's right. I need to get thistle down over here but Kilala has a brand new coat because she has unlocked level 10 and I'm hoping to maybe get one of the more advanced coats for Thistledown in the future too not the same coat Kilala's beautiful white fur looks so good and there's actually other colors that I think we can unlock in the future too uh, let me go down sorry Kilala I didn't mean to click on you yeah, we have Thistleclaw right here, and so I think we can get him, like, the really cool coat at level 20, or, ooh, the black one at level 40 would be really nice. I wonder what kind of babies they would have. That would be really, really fun. And we might be able to affect the tenting. Oh, I didn't even try that last time. We'll have to wait until it is daytime so that we can see a little bit better, and then we might try messing around with Kilala's colors and the ability to kind of tent everything. But for now, we are trying still to make our way over to the boss area and this green dot far away from our home next to the farm that kind of our foxes really enjoy raiding for the chickens because we are trying to do that mission so the reason we're playing as thistle claw right now is because we're trying to get him leveled up a little bit and i probably shouldn't wear him out and get his vitality all the way down so early in so let's let that fill up for just a second and we'll actually send him down here maybe we'll find some fish we'll send him down here so he can get something to drink i don't see any fish no fish in the water and no fish floating on land unfortunately we found so many fish floating on land what's this what's this this is oh there's more carcass there's a lot of carcasses over here i don't know if we should be grateful for the free experience <gasps> and now there's a bunch of fog <gasps> where are we going i was gonna say i don't know if we should be grateful for the free experience or slightly concerned about the fact that something is definitely a top predator in the area if there is so much uh so much evidence of of death the death of very big things like maybe grizzlies or moose all right let's run around come on kilala let's get this mission done we have dragged it on for too long and i think that thistleclaw and kilala will be able to bond while they are running around searching for the three-tailed fox in this mysterious area searching for any food that might be good for them too there's been no creatures for a long time now so I'm not sure what to think about that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is kind of eerie. There's a dig site up ahead, so we can at least try to look for a little bit of food over here. Ah, and there's some mushrooms. All right, let's see if we can find any little, any little beetles popping up out of the ground. Any beetles popping up? No, no little beetles popping up over here. Oh, wait, I have to like dig all the way. Silly me. All right, so we can go ahead and eat one of these beetles. You can get a decent amount of experience from eating these beetles. It surprises me. There we go. And then we can get this mushroom. So no... Nothing sighted just yet. Getting closer to leveling him up at least. So hopefully that'll help us out if we have to battle something. Because <laughs> we have to fight the three-tailed fox. What is this? Okay, we're coming up on a big cliff. What does this have to do? With what? Okay, so that's the big cliff leading to the winter area. So if we continue straight ahead, then I think we're finally going to be able to find the, hopefully, the three-tailed fox, you guys. Oh, and there's a little mushroom. Have to eat to keep our strength up. And I don't like this, but we have to, it looks like we have to wiggle in between this little cliff side. Anything over here? Why haven't there been, oh, and anything over here? Why haven't we seen anything for so long? What about over here? Oh, this just looks like an area that's asking to have a boss battle, doesn't it? I think all the signs are pointing pretty positively. Oh, in fact, in fact, I think we're here. Kilala, I think you better take over, my dear. This is your mission after all. So where, oh where, do I need to be up on the cliffs? Or are we going to stumble upon what we're searching for? Hidden down here. <gasps> It's the three-tailed fox! It's the three-tailed fox, you guys! We have found it! All right, Kilala! We've got to be ready! It is a three-tailed fox! I can't believe this! This is going to be very exciting! Okay, you guys ready for this? All right, let's do this! 
Oh, it's gonna be a proper boss battle and everything! Kilala, go! Kilala! Kilala? 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 Where'd it go, Kilala? <gasps> Kilala, what did you do? <gasps> okay. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> he vanished on me. Where is he? You guys. You guys. Okay. I think he's playing coy. Oh, there he is. What the heck? What the heck? He was waiting. He was waiting so that my moves wouldn't be as good on him. Okay, we've got to get out of here. All right. Go, 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 go. Come on. Down you go. Down you go, three-tailed fox. Oh my gosh. What's going to happen to our pack? Is it going to be the end times? He does so much damage every every attack and we don't. Oh my gosh. Thistleclaw. I'm so sorry. You guys, we're not ready. We are not remotely ready to be able to fight the three-tailed fox. Darn. I think our family is going to just have to focus on growing. We're just going to have to focus on, on trying to have a baby with level like at level 15. And I Thistleclaw is now gone. We just have to wander out. We have to think about things. Kilala, I'm so sorry. She was not remotely even close to being able to, to defeat that fox. I think we need some buffs. I think that's kind of like a boss battle. I don't even know where to begin with half of that. I think I think we need to get a drink instead of trying to chase these raccoons. All right, let's climb up out of the water. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was interesting. Poor Thistleclaw. Maybe he'll think twice. He's the one who told us, hey, we should go do this. So maybe he's going to think twice about the fact that that really hurt. That really took a lot out of us. Oh my gosh. All right. And hang on just a second. Hunger. So our hunger is low. And then, yeah, a little while ago, our health went down. Running out of food or water will make you lose health. Okay. But that was like a few days ago. Oh, and there's the raccoon. All right. So yeah, poor Thistleclaw is going to have to come back to us. So I think what we're just going to do now is maybe focus. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got some food. Is focus on leveling up. So let's try to get to level 15. So at the very least, we should be able to have a baby. Even if our pack legacy won't be able to be taking on all of the uh, bosses that exist in the world. But I think we're going to focus on having, having babies. And we'll focus on exploring where the question marks are in the world and trying to find more chest. So that'll be our current goal. So Kilala, her goal right now is to just get up to level 15. There's little rats. Let's get them. Let's get them. There's so many things to eat. Every time I think we found like the last thing. Wow, the rats were worth so much experience points. I will take that every day. Wow, did you see that 200? That was fantastic. Wow. All right, let's run over here. And here's a mushroom to eat. So yeah, we'll just focus on trying to become stronger. We'll focus on exploring. Uh, I kind of want to... Mm, well, you know what? If we're going to have foxes of our own, we don't need to... Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, no, you don't. No, you don't. Right, am I going to have to chase you away? No, get out of here. Get out of here, enemy fox. Get out of here. This is going to be my territory. You can't have it. You can't have it. Yeah, the other guy was doing like 100 damages. I feel so weird about cannibalism, <laughs> but that seems to be where we're at. Sorry, other fox. I'm going to pretend you weren't a fox. <laughs> no, I should own what I have done, but we did need to clear that fox out of the way and like defend our own area. So yeah, we'll just focus on having a baby and exploring right now. So we want to have a cub and we want to become stronger. Did Kilala gain anything? And I'm still going to have to figure out like how the skills, like how we gain the different skills. I think just every time you level up, you get a random chance to get one of the skill points and it's just kind of like i said given to you randomly so yeah we'll do some more exploring we'll go and we'll try to hunt down some of the question marks that are on the map when thistleclaw recovers and we'll just try to get uh get level 15 and have our wonderful new fox cub we can have a very big like a very big pack i think that's actually what we're gonna have kilala take away from that whole kind of frightening experience is that you really want to have a big strong pack who has your back and can help you out when it comes to fighting and defending your territory and having to really 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 deal with 
like sort of dream mystery magic strong foxes oh and we're out of energy why <laughs> oh and actually is it just me or are we getting less experience from uh the mushrooms because it used to be yeah it used to be like 110 experience so i wonder if as time goes on depending on the complexity of what you attack and what you fight with you get different things hmm all right oh and there's one of the little beetles Got him. And I like the beetles because you get points for both um, killing him and for eating him. So you get a good little you get a good little amount of experience from the beetles at least. All right, Thistleclaw is almost healed up. I feel so bad. He's gonna have to like haul himself all the way back from the other side of the world, pretty much, to get back over to us. But he's the one who wanted to pick the fight. So maybe he'll be a little more circumcept and realize you can't just like rush after everything nilly willy. You have to be prepared. All right, there we go. And we've got the big old giant rat. Down we go. Oh, Thistleclaw, there you are. I hope you learned a lesson, Thistleclaw. I hope you understand we can't just run around and we can't just like attack giant demon foxes and expect to survive without a little bit more experience. Okay, sir, okay. All right, I feel like, I feel like he's been properly properly hey and then he pushes me away from the mushrooms rude 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 so hopefully he's learned a bit of a lesson uh we won't really attack the moose i don't think because i think the moose would be a little bit of a difficult thing to win for but i do want this carcass i can only assume it's a moose carcass all right let's go ahead and grab this there we go and we'll scavenge around take care of our foxes let's come over and see what's over at this house and i do want to wander around we stumbled on so many cool chests before and i want to see how many chests are going to be in the world as we explore more places like here's a cool barn is there anything in here no doesn't look like there is oh there's a mushroom it would be fun if there was like a farmer's field where we could just eat a whole bunch of the food inside the farmer's field. All right, Thistleclaw is taking a moment to rest. So where are we? All right, we're just kind of running around over here. So I think we'll head over and let's actually go maybe this direction. And we're gonna head up to this big lake because I think that would be a really fun spot to explore. And let's go for this particular uh, little question mark first. No, you know what? No, let's go, let's go, let's go deeper and more dangerous. Let's go down into the autumn woods. And then we'll even try going into the winter woods and we'll see if we can survive those places for one thing. But we'll also see what they may have to offer in terms of discoveries that uh, might be able to help us out. Let's see, there we go. Yeah, we'll see what they have to offer in terms of discoveries, maybe some new chests, maybe some new kind of prey animals to eat. And let's go ahead and eat. All right, come on, Thistleclaw. And we're gonna try, whoops, <laughs> we're gonna try to level up as quickly as possible. What the heck is that? Why is it moving? Okay, there's crocodiles for one thing. And this log is just kind of like, hello? It's just kind of like rolling around. There's actual crocodiles, you guys. Crocodilians, <gasps> is that a skunk? Let's go eat the skunk. That'll be something new. That'll be something new and adventurous. All right, uh, we can't run anymore. Have to sit and rest for a second. I just wanna crawl my way over to the mushrooms. <laughs> All right, and there's the skunk. So let's go eat a skunk. Cause that sounds like something that can teach our foxes something new about different kinds of prey items and different ways to eat. Maybe we can chase the skunk over to like agitate it and then chase it over to those wolves. Cause those are definitely wolves. All right, we're gonna get away from the wolves. Let's eat this skunk and, and run for it. All right, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully the scent will distract the wolves. They won't want to chase after us. All right, it looks like there's some berries for us to eat. It's just so interesting to see how many different food items there are. Oh, and is this also berries for us to eat? Nice. It would be very interesting actually if some of these food items turned out to be like poisonous. And so say when we eat this blue mushroom, that turned out to be a bad idea. And then our foxes might become sick. So we need to be careful. Well, we don't need to be careful because I doubt that would happen, but it would be an interesting dynamic. All right, oh, and we stumbled on an entire carcass. This must have been what the skunk was eating. So let's go ahead and eat some of this too. 
And then, all right, so we're going to continue to explore for treasure. We're going to start exploring some of the other areas. I do not think I'm going to try fighting the crocodiles. Thank you very much. But we are going to go down into the autumn woods if we can get down there and see if we can discover what is hiding over here at this particular question mark. Maybe it's a really useful chest of some kind. I see you coming at me, Mr. Crocodile. I don't think so. And then we will see if we can manage to get up high enough level. I think we only need to be level 15. We're level 10 right now in order to have a pop before we start kind of looking and thinking about where our season of the ultimate fox simulator number one would go to so if you guys have other ideas for things that we could do with our wonderful foxes as we expand the pack and make them stronger make them explore more areas then do let me know but until then i will see you guys next time this look along oh yeah and i almost forgot we have to like play every now and then and we can actually level up from that too which is really cool all right oh it's still thistle claw we might level up just from like just from praising each other oh oh oh, oh. yes leveled up now we're up to level 11 with kilala i totally forgot how we could just like play together and that like helps to level up too all right so i will see you guys next time Bye bye